Job hunters are all too familiar with red flags during the interview process, warning them to run away. It doesn't happen too often, but once in a while you can catch a break and find a wave of green flags indicating that this will be the right fit. In this video, some green flags that you're doing well, the interviewer is vibing with you and all signs point to a job offer. There is a turning point in the interview when you notice a subtle shift in the conversation. The interviewer pivots from asking the traditionally bland cliche questions such as please tell me about yourself and starts focusing on you as a human being. They'll start pointing out your commonalities such as both living in the same town or attending the same university. The connection opens the door to pleasantries and playing a game of trying to think of the people you both know and reminisce over shared experiences. As a result, the interviewer stops with the standard, corporate, cold and clinical facade that human resource professionals and hiring managers put on to show that they are serious and mean business and instead start smiling and laughing. Although the conversation is flowing and you're getting excited, don't dominate the interview. Allow the interviewer to do most of the talking. This runs counter to commonly offered career advice. The more the hiring manager talks, the better the position you'll be in. As the person keeps speaking, there's a feeling that the candidate must be great because they're enjoying the conversation and feeling excited about finding a suitable applicant. Basically, the interviewer talks themselves into liking you. To keep this going, ask open-ended questions that will keep the interviewer talking. It gets better when the interviewer brings up the subject of compensation, benefits, vacation days, paid time off and all the amenities and perks offered by the company. When the person brings up the names of people that you'll be working with and offers interesting tidbits about their personalities, the green flags are waving. The interview feels like time is flying by and you discreetly check the clock. You realise that the meeting has gone over the allotted time and the interviewer doesn't seem to mind or try cutting it off is another wonderful green flag. It's like a first date that is going well and neither party wants it to end anytime soon. It is music to your ears when the hiring person politely asks, I know you've been here for a while, I don't want to be rude, but do you possibly have some more time to meet the team? The green flag shows that they feel you're the right match and would like to corroborate their impression by introducing you to some of the people you'd be working with. When the interviewer begins itemizing what you'll be doing on a daily basis as if you already have the job, it's a green flag. This may be followed up with offering a little insider gossip about the company and some of the people, managing expectations for when you start. More green flags are when the hiring professional asks if you have other offers pending and how soon you can start. When the interviewer ends the meeting by giving you a tour of the office and points to an area saying, here's where you'll be working, the green flag is waving strongly. This may be followed up with providing detailed next steps in the hiring process and offering details of how you can navigate the different personalities of the colleagues and managers you'll be meeting with. While all the green flags are waving and you end the interview feeling great and empowered, don't be discouraged if you don't hear right back. There are larger issues that companies need to contend with. Runaway inflation, high costs, supply chain disruptions, a likely recession, layoffs, job offer rescissions, geopolitical issues and a plummeting stock market are all concerns of business leaders. And with that uncertainty, it leads to inertia. Lately, many companies are slow walking the hiring process as they need to cut costs and are concerned about the future. If you feel like you've been ghosted, take the initiative and get in touch with the people with whom you've interviewed with. Politely email, text, LinkedIn message or call the interviewer to let them know you are still interested and gently inquire how long the process may take and whether you are still in the running. If you are fortunate to know an insider at the company, ask if they could fish around to see what is going on. In the interim, remain positive. It's not you, it's happening to almost everyone. And to play it safe, keep on working hard in your current job and do hedge your bets by seeking out recruiters and going on other interviews. If you found this video helpful, do give it a like and consider subscribing. Why not share this video with someone else you think may benefit from it? And if you have any questions or comments, do leave them for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.